Okay, so what I want to do is I want to break this down. I want to break this down by a flock of three. I want one girl out of the three, which means I want two boys out of the three as well. So let's, so let's say these are your three chicks. I know they're like the worst chicks ever drawn. I apologize. Three chicks. The possibilities are not as simple as we want them all to be boys or all to be girls. If I want them all to be boys, boy, 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 done. If I want them all to be girls, girl, 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 done. It's, that's simple. It's a little more challenging when you have a mix and match of boys and girls. Think about why. Here's the possibilities. Either she's a girl and he's a boy and he's a boy. Or he's a boy, she's a girl and he's a boy. Or he's a boy, he's a boy, and she's a girl. Now, I don't know about you, but I heard the words and and or quite a bit in that statement. So what I want to do is I want to write down the mathematics that pertains to those words. So I said, if I want one girl out of three birds, that means either she's a girl and he's a boy and he's a boy, ands mean multiply, or he's a boy, she's a girl, and he's a boy, or he's a boy, he's a boy, whoops, and she's a girl. And what you have to do is you have to realize you have to account for all these. Because even if Max gets a boy on the first two pulls, that doesn't mean he won't get a girl on the last one. He could get a girl on the last one. This is the chance of that particular order happening. But the thing about it is, is that particular order has multiple orders. Hopefully that makes sense. If you sum all these up, all these additions, that's 0 .009, 0 .009, 0 .009. That's 0 0.027, 2.7%. Now let's analyze that with... The other option, which was interesting for us, was what's the chance of getting two girls out of three? Okay, no, it's not a whole lot of space here. You might think to yourself, rule, you're going to need more room to write. I don't think so, because I think there's a shortcut here. I think there's a shortcut we could have used. You see, you have the 0 0.9, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.9. It's all, each one of those terms is the same. It's two point ones and a 0.9. So I think we can utilize the same logic, two girls out of three. I think we can utilize the same logic by just saying, okay, in all of the cases where I want two girls out of three, I'm going to have two point nines and a point one. All those cases. The question really is how many of those cases are there? There were three here. Let's count over here. Where can the two girls be? Could be these two, or it could be these two, or it could be these two. There's only three ways for it to happen. So really, you can just stick a three multiplier in front, which is the same thing as adding three things up. Same exact thing mathematically. It's a nice shortcut. Let's calculate this. 0.9 squared is 0 0.81. 0 0.081, we had that from before, 0 0.081 times 3 should be 0.243. Now let's go back in there and see if that makes sense in the distribution for three birds.